Doru was right. Yellow is a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Don't worry, I'll get them out of here, one way or another. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. This creature is dangerous. Get out of here. Leave it to me. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. I'm in dire need of healing. Where is this camp? Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. Enough gawking. Get me down. Now that they're out of earshot, sure. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. And what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. A simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. All right, we journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. You're not versed in magic, are you? Of course I am. I have as much magic as in me as you. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Go ahead. I'm listening. I need you to remain in the camp for a while, rather than on the road with me. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Perhaps we'll travel together again later. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. Has the error of your ways become clear? I would like you to join me. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazel. I'll trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You have a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Half elf. I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlo's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlo, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Nine hells! Open the gates!
Noble Roach. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. and sword. The last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! There are children here, you fool! We was running for our lives. You led them straight to us! And you let them take the druid too! Unbelievable! One fight just ended, and now you're picking another? Relax. Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tail. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. More violence won't bring back those you lost. Stop and think. You're right. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Namiko. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Why are they forcing you out? There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. What brought you here? We're refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. The Descent, an infernal conspiracy that had seen the entire city of El Torel briefly dragged to the hells. If your people survived that, they'll survive anything. So I hoped, but we've lost so many already, and more will die if we're forced out again. This ritual, is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I've tried. Korga, their new first druid won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her.
for more time to prepare, if nothing else. I have my own temporal concerns. I need a healer. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. I'll find her, and I'll speak to Kolga while I'm there. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. You just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. Hells! We can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. You should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Go on. Give me a best shot. <laughs> Not bad. Again. I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. It's good advice, child. You'd do well to listen. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward and his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You are on the ship. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Hmm, doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid. Or so the stories go. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so... Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! <sighs> you saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Cavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. A fiend makes for poor company. Unless it's been stuffed and mounted on your wall. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. 
I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Just so you know, my first duty is Karlak. I'm oath-bound to go after her. But I won't deny this infection is bothersome. I accept your invitation. You'll need to make room if you want to partner up, though. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Well, this seems like a lovely little spot. The sense of impending doom aside. I need you to stay at the camp for a while. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Please just stay at the camp. Well, you know where to find me. The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. I'd like to join up and find a cure for this parasite of ours. Chuk. A worthy ally, perhaps. But I'll waste no time chasing devils while a tadpole feasts on our skulls. I've seen your people in battle. I reckon you are no mere warrior, but a god's damned army. I'd be a fool to let you turn your back. Pledge me your talents, and I'll pledge you mine. Chuk. I'll presume that's Gith Yankee for yes. Now let's move. Hmm. The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Clever, this hero act you've got going. Hero, Blade. Name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Hold it, Lazel. I'll see to this one. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Fine, do as you must, but make it quick. Bow. Lower. You saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. By the dead gods. Are all gifts so brutal? Brutal? Blood still flows through his own veins. I was positively gentle. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Do you plan to be that rough with everyone we meet? Rough? Soon you will be vomiting blood and tearing apart your own flesh. When the tentacles sprout from your lips, will you still cry that I was rough? Enough. Just tell me what's our next move. The tea sling was clear. If there are a Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Huh. Did you say teethling? I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... Fey run. No, no, it's Faerun. What do you mean, purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hellspawn! And you will wait for Korga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, 
Let me through, Mrakrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Grin, give her a chance. You, get back! Why, what's so special down here? It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. I'm not looking for trouble. Can't you just let me by? No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Please! I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Thief? Poison? What's this girl's actual crime? Girl? You mean parasite? She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Release her. I'll see that she stays out of trouble. Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, deal it to me! Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. How badly does it hurt? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Are you sure it's not connected to the tadpoles? Positive. You can trust me on that. What's the story with that odd little artifact you have? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. Only a monster would threaten a child. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. This rite must be born of powerful magic. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. Turning your back on the needy, is this truly the way of Sylvanus? A disease of the flower must not reach the root. 
Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. Teachings of the Tree Father. Do you agree? Words you have twisted to justify your cruelty. Words I heed to the letter, to keep my brood safe. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then it seems I'd best speak to Zevlor. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander Rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. That Kolga seems dangerous. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our leader. Kolga seems happy to rule the roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. I'm looking for Nettie. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Sounds like I'd better leave. It is what Korga desires. I doubt it is what Sylvanus wants. I see you. Just give me a moment. This may be Catherine. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I'm looking for Nettie. You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Do you know anything about Mind Flayers? Why are you asking? Humor my curiosity. I know they're nasty creatures. Can get in your head and convince you up is down. And that's not all they'll do inside your head. Tell me honestly. Are you infected? Is that why you're asking? You know of them? Can you help me? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. The drow and I have the same kind of parasite? Seems so. Give Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I'd like to stay, if it's all the same. All right. Let's see what we can do. What's that plant? Will it help? She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? I can merge my mind with anyone else that's infected. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. On a Mind Flayer ship, I was kidnapped and infected. A Mind Flayer ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. 
I thought you could cure me. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? All right, hand it over. Swear it. I swear. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. What do you mean, should be changing? Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms, for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. So you think it's only a matter of time? Could be. But there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. What do you want me to do? The thing is, I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? All right, I'll find Halson. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a null. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. No more light-fingered antics, right, Arabella? Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. I'm more concerned about the first druid. Heard he left the grove with you. Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Can I have a look at that contract? <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Any idea what the relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here, with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Thanks. Don't thank me. 
I'll be well on my way to Baldur's Gate when you die. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Leaving's the Grove is the best option. I can help. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. The Blade of Frontiers has done what he can to help us prepare for the journey, and we are grateful. But it'll be a short journey if the goblins still own the roads. By the Triad, there is only one correct answer. Refuse him, and we sentence these people to die. Kill the goblin horde's leaders. I'll see what I can do. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word.